is a special back to school edition of our Good Question series. As the kids head back to class today, the risks on the roads rise. And one viewer thought it might be a good idea for a refresher when it comes to bus safety. News 3's Mark Lovacott is here with this week's Good Question, Mark. And this viewer has every right to be concerned about bus safety because she has been a bus driver for almost the last 15 years or so. And Mary says so well, many drivers, they just don't know the rules of the road when it comes to buses. So here's what every driver should know, especially this time of year. For the last eight years, kids have been piling into Jack Goodard's school bus. Yeah, we'll have 50 to 60 kids on the bus and so forth. And, and for the last eight years, Jack has been frustrated with other drivers. I think they just don't want to stop. They want to keep going. Jack is not alone in his frustrations. According to the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, an average of 33 kids are killed each year from school bus related incidents. Most of them happen outside of the bus as a pedestrian. People need to be aware of they see a school bus, there are going to be children around. Dave Rasmussen from First Student in Verona says the rules are very simple. When you see the flashing red lights, you stop at least 20 feet away. But mistakes are made. They'll come to a complete stop thinking it's like a stop sign and then they can proceed. They can't. They need to wait until that stop arm comes in. Bottom line, unless you're on a divided highway, you have to stop from all directions and wait. In general, Rasmussen says the best thing drivers can do right now is to just slow down when school buses are in sight because that usually means kids are nearby and their moves can be unpredictable. I watch out for everybody. Bus driver Jack says he does his best to watch out for everyone on the road. That includes his kids and other drivers. Well, you get a little frustrated, but you kind of just have to keep your cool and more or less you're doing a lot of defensive driving. If you do violate the law, fines start at around $200, and police aren't the only ones watching. Bus drivers also have the ability to report a driver as long as they can get a license plate number, and police can give you a ticket from that report. And, you know, this is a problem, but it's not as bad at other places. Washington, D.C., for example, in Dallas, Texas, they've actually installed cameras outside of the buses on those arms to catch people who are running those red lights, and they'll issue tickets through that way as well. So, well, And I have no problem with that. They yeah, should. Absolutely. Drive carefully out there. Yeah. Very good reminder. Thanks, Mark. Sure.